At eBettle, we have made it simple for you to join in on the action. You can bet real money on your favorite teams and the biggest tournaments in eSport. It's so easy that everyone can do it, but remember you have to be at least 18. Combine your winning betting slip and make the victories even more glorious. Join us on the front row and experience a greater world of eSports betting. Trust your knowledge and bet now. Go to ebettle.com. The game begins with you. Okay, welcome back. Now we have the match between Lemon Dogs and 4CL. This is going to be the last match of today between uh, the Group C people. Vega and 4CL are going to be postponed to tomorrow and... That's going to be the end of that one. Uh, uh, PR and SFC is scheduled to start in 20 minutes. You want to follow that one if this match is not done on time. That is, you can just go into Dota TV and watch it from there. There will be no casters since we're all still busy on this one. I'm sorry for everybody with what's happening. We're getting DDoS delays everywhere. And this is just completely throwing up everything for everything for everybody. And I'm just sorry about that. And well, that's actually it. Let's just focus on this match. Look at the good stuff, and uh, just keep on going from there. Leon, yeah, man, we're, we're back. Yeah, finally. And uh, it's a really funny thing that just happened because it's an exact mirror of the last game. It was a first pick IO into a tiny gyrocopter. And let's see if Four Clouds can pull it off again with. Uh, this insane tiny from played by sexy bamboo okay yeah i was i was actually saying that to them right now like guys this is a new match you don't have to repick the same heroes if you don't want to yeah <laughs> and sexy bamboo i know okay okay good like, like <laughs> this is what i want that just tuned in uh, like the game we just postponed it had like the exact same draft opening which is quite funny but uh Seems like a really good response to the Wisp, to be honest. Yeah, you can just completely blow them up with these two heroes already. You don't really need anything else. Like, they have more than enough AoE to catch him out. Yep. So it, it either means that he already has to relocate before he gets initiated on, but yeah, do you want to relocate out in the middle of the fight with nothing? So. Yeah. They put Eo in a pretty tough decision, and Lemonox actually had the chance to spot this one out before. Exactly. Like, let's see how they how they follow up. If they go with a classic um, IO partner, or if they they to mix it up, just yeah. run IO like a support that is not there for like supporting another core, but like it's a good hero in general. Yeah, you can all, well, you can all, yeah, Shadowfin is not the, like the normal combo to go with. Uh, it though. was it can work. It was like on Radiant. It is actually. It is because what you can stack like both camps, but yeah, yeah exactly. Uh, it's not the it's not the best relocate target though, because Shadow because they don't really have anything to keep the other hero down. Well, they uh, need the Yules or something then. Or Usually you build like um, SF into like BKB and you follow it right with a Scotty, and um, then you have the the lockdown you need and you just relocate in with the Scotty and just stomp everything. But yeah, for for CL learned and they banned the Brizzle, but I think uh, Brizzle was a null factor last game. He got well, shot in the beginning, so in the beginning he did. Like there were a couple of kills that he got, and it was really annoying that for them to deal with it. Like if they had another hero there, was not Bristol, they would have completely dominated bot lane. That's true. So I think that they're just like it is just an annoying hero. You don't know how it works out right now. Let's just get it out. And I think they're going to be banning a lot more uh, targeted towards the EO. Like, I don't think we'll see a PL ban now. Yeah. I think they're going to ban like a CK or PA again. Most likely PA. But actually, Tiny is very good versus PA. Yeah, they can still blow him up. They have a lot of magical damage already, especially in the beginning. Also, they ban out the lion that opens up the witch doctor and a 
also a disruptor. Time. But let's see if they stick with their bane. Yeah, it it did do a lot for them last match though. I did the hero did yeah it was so good. Yeah, I didn't ex ex expect bane to be that efficient, but with the like level one rocket already, like you sleep into rocket, you have a reliable stun basically with that. Very strong. And even if you get the nightmare off, that means that you have two targets that are getting stunned. Exactly. So, it's such a hard thing to deal with. And they're gonna ban out the Viper. They're gonna expect a Shadow Fiend on the safe lane to get it with Neo. Or maybe something else that they can do with Viper. And here's yeah. the ban. Yeah, they, they want to milk the strategy, it seems like. When you use it again. I've never seen this approach versus IO, but I think it's good. In the last game, it show, really shows a lot of potential yeah. why they were able to... Well, they were ahead by like 10,000, so... We'll see what Lemon Dogs is gonna be doing against it, because it's... With the heroes that they have now, I don't really think they can stop it, because Shadow Fiend is still... F is, well, it's actually fairly squishy. They don't really have a Bristleback or DK who was able to live at least through the nukes. Shadow Fiend will just die from this. So what do you think? They need something tanky to uh, pair it up with? Well, last game we have seen that uh, tanky is not enough against this. Like, Alone Druid is very tanky, but even then, like, he will be blown up if, if a tiny dagger is onto him with a cooldown follow up and then brain sap. Just too much damage. He will never build a BKB on Alone Druid, I think. <laughs> mm, you don't want yeah, to do that. Maybe Agonyms! And then the beer, you give a BKB? And they, like the bear is like a separate hero, and you just leave the hero, like long route in base or yeah. something. But look at this, it's an exact mirror draft. 100% of the heroes match the last game from 4CM. Indeed, what was their last pick again? Uh, Lador, sorry, versus yeah. the DK mid, which yeah. did pretty good. Yeah, I don't think they will pick Slaughter now though, because let's say no. if Shadow Fiend is middle, I think he's gonna get bullied out of the lane really, really hard. Like that's not a matchup he can win. Yeah, I think, I think they could able they were able to pick it because it was a DK. Yeah, it was like a, slaughter is like a natural hard counter to DK. I think like minus armor, a bash that goes through BKB. Perfect. Okay. Yes. Okay. I think they focus on solid lanes, like, they put Lone Root with Shaker on the safe lane. That's, that's pretty good. Like, you have the Fissure for defensive purpose, but also for offensive purpose if someone is out of position. Yeah, but and so, then you can yeah. uh, leave the safe lane on its own with those two heroes. And you can have the Shadow Fiend and Io mid, which is pretty good. And this... They are really, they are really solid lanes. I, I can see it work out for them. But yeah, they don't. I don't think they will be picking up. Uh, Sarda, what do you think will be their last pick for four CL though? Like we're gonna just assume it's gonna be the middle. Like that's what they list, did yep. last time. So <clears throat> it will be a mid, but I mean, Storm Spirit would have been the best hero, but it got banned out. That's a t oh, wow. That's okay. Vagamas uh, trademark hero. Yeah, this is gonna be great. Like, Vaga plays a sick TA. This is gonna be... Well, I'm gonna... I'm, gonna, I'm really love, looking forward to see this because... Like, the armor reduction that the gives for his lone root is just... So good. It will completely blow up the hero or the bear. It's... Uh, well, Io has really low armor. He gets blown up instantly by pretty much all of their heroes here. They're strong versus Io. Earthshaker, if he gets caught out, uh, also that Shadow Fiend. Yeah, once TA is close to him, Shadow Fiend doesn't really stop. Um, ju he. Just some stats here. Um, Five Templar nine. Assassin is Vagamama's most played hero. He has 600 games on it. 67% uh, win rate with a KDA of 5.64. That's impressive. Yeah, that's. We're gonna see it to work then now. And they, okay, let's pick up his disruptor. Yeah, their, their lanes are pretty solid, I want to say. What are they going to do? Is this an, this yeah, this an offline Earthshaker? Be an, yeah, it's offline Earthshaker. Yeah. 
E skill. Is it support? What? No, usually E skill plays offlane, but oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, it seems he is on the SF now because Japs is missing, maybe? Yes, we'll see, yeah. Because, yeah, with Japs, Japs was middle for them, and I know E skill was to support Lina in their previous match with BBC. <laughs> That's what we're seconds remaining. We'll see how it goes. Frigo Lead is going to be playing the IO. Okay, Kuridi is going to be playing the Lone Druid again. He has played that one. See how it goes. And here we go. Let's open the game with a pause. Why not? Mountain Trail of Passes. Yeah, dude, just. <laughs> yeah, Fensco, you're completely right with that one. Oh. Don't encourage them. <laughs> Uh. Well, I've learned something about Dota over the years, and that's like it's the most time consuming stuff you can do, like playing competitive. Not because the games are so long, because there's always so much setup time, so much downtime. And when it gets paired with DDoS and other stuff, time is running. But let's oh. hope that this game goes flawless. Okay, and also I have actually some information about the matches for tomorrow, for the, for the Vega versus 4CL. We're gonna have a new lobby tomorrow at 20.30 for these twos. Uh, 4CL was ahead in that match, but because they had to reschedule, Vega uh, said we want this new lobby. And I can, yeah, I can understand that they are heavily... Yeah, if they have to restart all over again, I can see why they want a new lobby. Yeah. yeah, it's really all against them. And yeah, let's just see how it goes. For 4 we we'll have Yule playing the support Night Stalker, Suniko playing the Gyrocopter. We have Sexy Bimbo again on the offlane Tiny. We have Waga playing one of his signature heroes, the TA, and Fanscore again on the Bane. And on the side of Lemon Dogs, we have E Skills on his Shadow Fiend, Staff Style on the Disruptor, Eres Loco on the Earthshaker, Krille on the Lone Druid and Frigolet on the Wisp. And we have already an engagement. And now they throw forwards Fancourt. He's, gonna, he's not gonna get nice. off. Oh no, the Fissure just stopped the Nightmare. Oh, this just made sure that they wouldn't, aren't able to get the first blood. And Spirit Bear is just able to run up. This is an exact mirror of the last game. The same thing happened. They could have gotten the first blood and again, something else like interrupted them. Yeah, this, but this was just well played by uh, LD. Yeah, yeah, insane for sure. Yeah, this video was so great at the exact moment. And they're they're looking for something now. They're gonna go after it. Isco, is he gonna level up the races or is he gonna level up Necromancy? We'll see the face. Yeah, he's not That's gonna leveling up anything right now. Fesco is walking in again because Joe is coming from the back line. He is focusing on free He's going for the Wisp. Yeah, Wisp is half HP though, but Joe is getting slowed again. Like, races are leveled up but by Isco now. He's gonna maybe start throwing them out. No, but they have sleep. no follow up for the. Sleep. They have a void, but even then, that's not gonna be enough. And the Spirit Bear is just running after them all the time, making sure that they can't walk in without them knowing it. But. Yeah, so Naiko got the bot rune, so it's. It's decent. I think that opening favors on um, CL. Because Wiz's bottle got delayed because he didn't uh, pick the bounty. Like, yeah, but he's it, it, it delayed by 40 seconds. They're worse. I think they should be happy that there wasn't the first blood towards them. Yeah. There's a great fish just stopping the they, they already, like, they placed the ward and blocked the camp though. In the Radiant Jungle, that means one stack less for Essa. That's huge. And the Night Stalker is already rotating in for the IO. He wants the chicken. Ah, but he won't get it. Well, no, no way. This is uh, too obvious. Sweet. At least you know you can. You have to try and make the play like. But again, sexy bamboo is just doing fine. <laughs> He's getting levels. Like they're not really chasing him down too hard right now. Although Steph should be able to do a lot once he has just glimpse a couple levels into it. Ah uh, well, I th yeah, but he's not like the last. Lane was much more dangerous for him. Yeah, that's like, this one gets dangerous when uh, the Spirit Bear gets entanglement. Not, he's not close to it right now, and they also have Yol there right now to help him out. If the Magic Bear does a lot of damage on the Tiny. He's still zero armor. Yeah, just look at the difference between Yol. Yol gets like oh, no on the bottom. They're going on Vanscore. 
this would be most likely the first blood. It still maybe does have Nightmare. Maybe he can deny himself. Oh no, he just chooses to do uh, That was a something. smart decision. Yeah, because Aerith Loco, he doesn't have mana enough to do anything. Uh, oh, he's coming back. Sunico. Oh Denied. no. Deny? Deny? No, that oh. doesn't work. LV. Uh, Aerith Loco is able to pick it up. Now Sunico, he's gonna look for Aerith. He does have a Fissure if he needs to be. That was so close. Oh. Yes. Now you hate that Bane has uh, that, uh, <laughs> four armor. You wish you had zero. Yeah. I imagine he denies himself. That would have been the first blood for the gyrocopter. Yeah, that would have been a big play. Yeah. Really big play for me. Didn't work out. He tried it. No, good he heads up play still. 10 points for effort at least. Yeah. 10 points for Gryffindor. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, sexy. He is. He has low health now. He has like no regeneration at all. He's just waiting for his bottle. And he should have it now. But Vaga is having a bit of trouble in mid. Yeah, once he maybe gets a little bit more levels into his reflection, he should be going a little bit better. But until that point, it's gonna be a little bit tough. And he got his bottle now, it should be fine. They're going for the wisdom top. Again, there's yours. Oh, trying to find a first free. Yeah, that's not gonna work. He's just gonna get killed here. I'm not completely sure if he was trying to go for uh, for Frigolith or they were trying to get onto Yo. I think he was a bit <laughs> out of position. Aerith throwing out some uh, not a fissure, keeping his creep wave back. Really good here, only the catapult is walking forward. It's a catapult versus catapult here. Yeah. <laughs> Battle of the Giants. Uh, who will win this one? So far it seems that Dyer is winning this one. <laughs> And uh, let's see uh, 10 seconds until the rune spawns and three people on the bot rune. That means most likely Vaga will get a free rune on top. Well, uh, yeah, Steph he... is there, but. Oh, he's claiming him back, but it's already oh, late. He got the rune. A bit too late. Yeah. Would this have is... been a nice play. But... Yeah. Now it just means that Vaga is faster back to the lane. Yeah, which I don't he think he a lot of mana. Yeah. Glimpse costs a lot. I don't think Vaga is too uh, mad about this. I think he was actually really happy. Yeah, you also managed to stack the engines. That's great. And the bottom, the safe lane, does what the safe lanes do: pull, get XP. Yeah, uh, not much going on there. Yeah, do like GS wise is also pretty much even. Only middle is being won a little bit more by uh, by each skill. Yeah, but I think like over time uh, Vaga should come back, like he will stack engines again now. So will be a triple stack already at 5 minutes. And like when he hits um, level 7 he can just spam out the wave in the middle and starts to farm engines and his own jungle. Like oh, as yeah. F does. I just missed uh, the kill on sexy bamboo. Yeah. Yeah he got the glimpse back into the bear. Does he have entanglement? Yeah he does. Yeah yeah he does. Top tower is under attack. I was looking at Krilly, he really... He first to get his face boots onto his lone root himself first and after that go for the spear bear or he might have just swept him around because he's sending him back to base but Probably swapped him. Yeah. Bear has no boots. Yes sir. Ever Loka, he's really been brought back behind the tower yeah, fence of him. Wisps got it off the stack though. Yeah. But what they can't really do anything about it right Not now. Not yet. So. But it's a good intel from the wisp. Just, he just went there to have a quick glimpse on the on the deck on. Yeah, and with uh, Wagon gone now, on they the should bottom, know he's second guy. Bottom, Oshik is in a lot of trouble. Call down. It's gonna, next, it's gonna be used. Then score. He's gonna get up the nightmare, but Steph still is here. They're oh, gonna I, relocate him. Somebody uh, TP and E skill as, as well. He misses okay. his race, but the Fissure is still there to kill him up. Fan score. He's just gonna get glimpse back, and he's. Gonna get killed here right now. He is dead. That's a kill going the way of Disruptor. Oh my. Well played. Like, Disruptor TP to the tier, uh, tier 2. But it Though, didn't see um, The short TP is also on the tier 1. And they just rotate air 4 heroes in and just double kill them. Great play there. Well done by them. And yeah, indeed, there, there's a. Uh, Facebook's also back, by the way, on the. On the paper. On the very yeah. Expected. Would have been odd all the way around. <laughs> <laughs> That's new. I don't. They're not used to that. But okay. Actually, you can even just use these two supports to relocate in. Something bad is happening. Yep. It's actually a really strong combo. Like, you can keep people locked down. You have a big silence. Uh, Vaga's yeah. stacking again. This is a super huge stack. But 
Oh. They will block this. Yeah, they blocked it now. Yeah. We missed a kill on the bottom, yeah. but it just got blown up in half a second. <laughs> yeah, with the uh, with the call down again, I was I saw the HP bar on top and was like, oh, shit. But okay, this is another kill going the way of uh, of so Nico here. I was almost about to say uh, BBC. And now they're, they're going, going to... for the stack now. Yeah. Oh yeah, Waga sees it. He puts down a, a nice grab. Yeah, but they, 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 I don't know if they can. can they can't even farm it, but they also can't contest it. Yeah. Like, you need to have more heroes here to do it. And this is just gonna be a zoning uh, static field. Or kinetic field, I mean, of course. And. Is, is he going for that? No way. You, you oh, can't go in the tower. Them, yeah. Still, it's underneath the tier 1 tower. They don't have really any creeps there right now, so. And Aeros Loco is there. Oh, he is gonna stun up Yo. Yo is really low, they need one attack and they're able to get it with the free go Another needs. nice Fisher. Yes, yeah, this. Oh, Glimpse back on fan score. He's gonna Nightmare himself for now. And but Nightmare is taken off so and he's gonna die here right now. He just used Brain Step to annoy his skill a little bit, but it doesn't really matter. And now Sexy Bamboo. He's on top, Krilly is there with his spear. I'm always actually really impressed by his uh, Lone Druid plays. He's really good on him. Yeah. And they just keep on walking up here for the stack. Like they're just not going to give it to them for free. And because of that, Suniko is just having a good old time here on bot. He's completely free farming. He's already got two kills. For he has to join the fight pretty soon because uh, they would just walk around as four or as three and just relocate the SF in. Like. Oh no, they're gonna walk in again. Fan score is on the front lines, but that might Fansco actually be in a lot of trouble. But yeah. Fisher's cooldown though. Yeah, so he's not really able to punish this. There's a zip around the nightmare a little bit. No, they can't. No uh, first race is there already. Okay, Isco misses the second one though. There's Tiny gonna be the Fisher. Fan score. He's able to walk all right now. Tiny comes oh. in from the back. He's going on Isco. Isco taking a lot of damage. Frigo Lead is gonna die here right now. There's gonna be the call down, killing off E skill yeah. as well. Iris is trying to fight up here. Krilly comes in with the beer, but he needs to take his beer back right now because this might be a little bit dangerous for that. There's a triple kill going the way of four CL, which a double kill is gifted towards Nico, and he only get the uh, sexy bamboo back for it. And again, it's a tiny rotation that gives them the opening, like two man avalanche into two man toss, followed up by a call down. Just so much damage. Radiant's top tower is under attack. Yes. That's just a combo. They, they still didn't realize that their engines are blocked. That's it. Uh, he should know it now. Like, there are no small creeps spawned there. Yeah. Like, there are only two big ones. But even then, if they try to. Yeah. It's only one minute left on the D ward. It's not really worth it to D ward anymore. Yeah. It's true. So. Might as well leave it. They might try to do it, but. And they're gonna smoke up here to tier 2 with a uh, Yo and Fanscore. Gonna try a kill on the lone druid, but he's super tanky. He has 10 armor, 1.3k HP. It's a super hard kill. Yeah, he almost got his mice as well for free, so. He's not doing bad right now. He is actually fourth on the, on the network chart. They, right oh, now. they found the disruptor. Yeah, they he doesn't have a uh, yeah. kinetic storm right now, so he's just gonna die here. Fisher is nice, keeping them out. Sexy Bamboo, he's gonna chase now. Oh! But first his entanglement there. there. E-Skill getting off one race on Sexy Bamboo. He's straight up really low. They need another entanglement. Gyro is rotating in though, but he has oh. no mana. Toss up, thrown back. There's gonna be the call down. Slow down the bear, and they can't really follow this up anymore. But still, they got the disruptor. No one died. But Before. they had to rotate the Gyro in. So. Yeah, all the heroes are actually on top right now yeah. from inside of 4 CL. Okay, is he just gonna run down? I think he's just going for the shaker. Yeah. Or he doesn't see him. Though. I know, he was hidden in the fog there. And now he's just gonna walk underneath the tower. He, he uses re well, refraction. There's gonna be the toss in on fan score. Ford using Krilly. Krilly taking a lot of damage. That? He's gonna die here. He is dead. Rigolet, he doesn't have relocate, so he just pretty much just oh. went into his own death over there. Toss and Ares. He gets off an enchant totem. Doesn't matter. Iskill's trying to turn this one around. He gets at least fan score on the way back. Loading up Requiem, he's gonna cancel this because there's nowhere, no one in the vicinity. Oh no, nice. Glaive's back on you. Requiem is gonna hit, he's gonna die here right now. East kill picking up, no, actually Steph still picking up that kill. That was a 4 for 2. 
Like, Wisp should not tether the Earthshaker there. Like, he destroyed the trees and gave away his exact position. Like, and he died in the process because he tethered right to the TA, which is blow him up. Like, even if. Yeah, he didn't have relocate either, so I'm not oh. completely sure what he wanted to do there. Hey, there's gonna be the. Yeah, that's not gonna oh. work. Section, but we can run out of it. Although he's already down over half HP, but he still got full. Nice stick charges. He might try to turn this one on East School. He knows that they don't really have the big ultimates right now. Oh, yeah. Although Aeris is there. He sees him. There's gonna be the fish nice. kicking him out. Yeah, now oh, Sexman Boo is stuck. There's gonna be the uh, static yeah, storm yeah. taking away the nightmare as well. And Aeris is just gonna pick this one up. They're trying to look for fan score now. They see him, but they're not really able to get towards him. Glimpse is ready in three seconds. Green dudes uh, they don't have vision. Yeah. They don't have vision here. Yeah. He's here. Although he walks back. Uh, it doesn't really matter if he walks back. And look at this, they're actually dead right towards the spirit bear. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's pretty funny. And they get uh, at least the bot, uh, I mean the top tier one of, uh, of 4 CL. A nice bot. boost. For I, I just wanted to ask what item is Vaga going for uh, and he decided to go for the dagger. That's, that's pretty nice, they have a lot of squishy it's heroes. Yeah. Uh, it's like insanely good versus Wisp. He has still no tranquil boots, he has zero armor, he can just blink next to him, melt, and he's dead. Uh, what's his level is his melt? His melt is actually level 3. I think he can almost yeah. he can either one, one shot or two shot him, but. I think, like, yeah, like, you need to melt it and then, like, one out to take yeah. him off. So pretty much, if he's there with anybody else, oh, they can just hit him. Oh no, Iron Shaker Ultimate, he is going in. He finds Joel and Sexy Babu, or actually, they find him. Poor they doing a lot of damage him. This Fraser is actually keeping his steam out. Yeah, I was like, uh, nice. Waka goes in. There's gonna be the call down. There's gonna be the toss onto uh, Stefan. He's gonna die as well. There's gonna be the death of EO. Really? Really? What's he? He's gonna get Avalanche here. They're buying back with two heroes. Waka, he blinks forwards. He's gonna get out of here. So Nico, it might be cut out here. He skills. Fighting unfortunately a double race is gonna hit and they're gonna get a double kill on him. Killing off Yo as well as uh, <coughs> as Nico there and third. sexy he gets back. He's yeah. gonna get uh, static stormed as well as well as kinetic field and he's just gonna die here right now. But they had to spend they get a triple kill on uh, on E skill though, but Yeah, uh, but I think like the two like Shaker and Disruptor bot back for a triple kill on the SF, I think that's worth it. Yeah, the one problem is though that now for Eris Loco, his blink there is going to be barely well <laughs> delayed. I mean, he got he got tranquils and soaring already. Yeah, I think he can catch up though. Yeah, he has to, to catch up, but still, you will have. But they had to buy like if they if they don't buy back there, the the syllabi would have died. And, and uh, with the buybacks in return, they got two additional kills. Even the gyrocopter died too, so three additional kills basically. Was pretty good decision. Yeah. At least I get that. It, I'm really wondering who's actually ahead right now. Four shell at the moment is still a small lead. It's all really fairly minimal at this stage. But at the moment, really, the top of the net of the net worth is still Shadow Feet. He has his mecha completed. 2.5k. So fat. Yeah. Like, what's he gonna pick up next? Is he gonna go for like the old Yule and Oh no, they're gonna go in again. They blow up wow. Steph first. Now they're gonna go after E skill. He is nice. gonna wind up the Requiem, but he's not gonna get it up because there is <laughs> the Fiends. Oh no! He's good. Keeping him in, in place, killing him off. So Nico getting that dominating streak there. Right away from him. Oh no. Thick. Yes. Yeah, I, just, I, I just wanted to say that, like, I was like, yeah, she was shadow. Oh, we missed a solo kill on the bottom. That guy's just going ham. Oh, yeah. yeah. Krill is also there. Wow. Oh no, I didn't look at that. I'm sorry for that. And they even got the deny on the tower bottom. Wow. Oh man. Disaster. And the, the one hero that actually don't really want dying right now is the, uh, the lone dude. He has 3k, he's going for Radiant. Yeah, new Radiant. It's a pretty good item though with the missions. It's, you know, versus TA, getting off the refraction charges. It's fast though, he's found. Call down issues. They're gonna actually lasso him as well, net him. Yeah. Oh no. Oh, they relocate in though. E skill, Sneeko, he has oh, to watch out, he's gonna get yeah, yeah. put back and now he's just running the other way. Wait, they need yeah. one more spirit ball and they're gonna get it. And yeah, Iska's just being left that behind That was there. pure greed, like, as a carry you go for a solo kill on a support under the tier 1 when you know relocate is up and TP's can come in. 
And oh no, I didn't see the kill here on this rift. I was yeah, actually he just looking. threw. Yeah, he just threw a, a creep there with toss, I think. Or no, how did he kill him? What? He used his toss though. I know that. I guess he had cooldown. Oh yeah, because he used it on him. Uh, and okay, now they, they get the rush and there's... Oh no, they're actually trying to contest this one on the way back. East kill is trying to hit after you. Baga, he's gonna nice take link he's out. Safe. And here's look, he gets a fissure onto Yul, but they're able but to follow this one up. No, they're not. Not the best fissure though. No. Didn't block him off, but it wasn't really... Uh, the be there's no good fissure there anymore. It either blocks him to the other side, which means he's clear to go, or you have to do it yeah. like this. That's true. Yeah, there's the next stage. There's next stage. Was oh, pretty good. Oh no, no, didn't Waga got it? Yeah, yeah, but good. I mean, he did. Like, I mean, we snatched it. Like, they got it pretty quick. Got out. Oh, but... like, they didn't get killed on the way back. They got yeah. the rush, and LD wasn't able to really contest it in time. Oh. This... So far, 4 cl is kind of dictating the game. Holy shit, Vaga just picked up a Tessellator. Whoa. Okay, That's so... That's a problem. Yeah. Like, it's... So How are you gonna deal this? He, he can watch the move supports, and even the Shaker, and I think he could even kill the Slubber pretty quickly. Yeah, Spearberry has pretty low armor, right? Yeah, has six, 6 armor. He's gonna... About minus six, seven. <laughs> yeah. Well, guy, he is scary right now, and he just overtook Shadowfiend as well. Shadowfiend who built a pretty basic Sanjay Yasha yes. here. I wanted to talk about that. Like, you ask, uh, what's the best item to pick up for the SF? And I was, I just wanted to say that I thought Scardi would be a good option, but five seconds later, he got crushed in a few seconds just yeah. by the magic damage. So I think BKB would have been like the way to go. Yeah, because Sanjay Yashi, that's not gonna help him in that pretty mark. But... And even then, he's still he has 18 armor now, though. But it will get blown up. On the HP. That's such a good mix, actually, right now on 4CL with all the minus armor and all the magical bursts that they still have. Like you need BKB and maybe even yeah, more. I, like even oh, if you buy a BKB, it won't save you because the TA is still. This is so much physical damage. Yeah. Just think also about the tiny. Yeah, once you get hit after the Desolator Melt Strike and Tiny just you know puts a hit on you, you're pretty much just dead. Even Shiniko is already hitting the yep. truck. But he's also going Sanjay Yasha is building up a BKB. Might just be a Cas Williams. And yeah. Uh, Sexy Babu twat it out, they know that they're doing something here on top. Spray Bear is gonna get hit by the skull down, but it doesn't do a whole lot. Just pushes back the lane here. I got the the dagger and shaker now. So. A 20 minute off lane earth shaker dagger with one buyback. It's okay. It's decent. Yeah. Fine. Now they can try to make something happen. I think. Yeah, but what? Because soon there's gonna be the BKB on Sneeko. Uh, actually, after this stack, he should have it. So he's gonna have a BKB. So if he gets off his BKB, Echo Slam is pretty much wasted for him. If Refraction is up for Waga, he won't be able to take a lot of damage. And I'm assuming he's gonna go for a BKB now as well. Yep. And Tiny, he's... I'm, I'm gonna guess he's gonna build an again. Not completely sure though. What is Tiny doing there? Oh, they're looking for E-Skills. Yeah. Oh, oh, there's a relocate in. But there nice comes in the relocate. Eris is there, but yeah. They're actually gonna get Maga here, Baga and Eris is still fine. Because he has an H, so yeah, like. Up there, so. They need to get still get Eris out, because it's actually really messy here. Kinetic Storm is not really gonna do a lot from Slap Stealth. Isco has a TP out, but is he gonna make this in time? Oh, yes, he, he is. It. And the Spear Bear is trying to man fight versus them, but that's not gonna work. Waga just one shot Slap Stealth there in the back. And yeah. Dominating Streak, two, two heroes down, the support for LD in a really messy team fight. I'm just gonna look for Agron now. They, really they can do it, actually. Yeah, like, they only have the... Uh, they just have to watch out for the Earthshaker. Like, if Aerith needs to get, like, an Angus Slam of his life here right now. Well, he's behind them in the trees. Yeah, so... Like, this could... Green dude's top could work team. somehow, but he's really far back. He should move. Like... Slowly. He can't TP either out, or we should start moving up forward. Because right now, they're gonna initiate on it. Fair Bear thrown back, but not killed off. Waga. He's waiting for the creeper. Is he going? Wait. 
Oh yeah, there is big Gecko Slip. Sexy Bebo is dead right now. Kano's gonna be used, but Joel's already taking the fall here. Voyager is gonna be the next one to take a spill. There you go, Spear for clearing him off. Oh no, they're gonna go after Shaniko right now. He's getting slow because of the orb here. And oh no, good nightmare coming out there from Fanscore. There's gonna be the Blink Force from Eris Loco giving the, f oh, the vision for Steph Cell to uh, get back. Sneeko, Sneeko is gonna get killed off. Four people already dead on the side of 4CL. Well, LD only lost Eris Loco together with their EO. And they only got Fanscore uh, is still alive. That's That was just. Oh. An insane play by the Urshak, like he timed the creep wave, then he followed the creep wave and exactly waited when they had to pull back because um, they pushed out of their base, so uh, of course they had to go back. And in the meantime, they connected with the creep wave from the bottom and then Shaker just hit everyone. Insane play. That, it just brought them so low that they could just clean up. Yeah. That team fight was just all on Eros there, man. All on Eros. Just because problem. of that, Lone Druid has his uh, radius now as well. Oh, I should have actually watched that, the damage that he did there, because that should have been a couple thousand. And oh no, Steph Cell, he's caught out, he's gonna get killed off. The Seder there, showing him off. Easy pick for the tiny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah if you, you have to watch out a little bit there. He tried to TP out on time, but yeah, like... Blink Dagger Tiny still works fairly well. And there's actually going to be a 4 staff on the Tiny. He, he just wants to get out of the Static Storm or get his teammates out of there and maybe some more mobility for himself. Because they're getting fairly kited. Yeah. Also good for a sec Tangle. And actually, Yo is starting to build towards Negatives. He got his... Uh, <coughs> he got his... What is it? His... Point energy booster. booster. Point yeah. booster, god damn it. Why the hell am I saying energy booster? What's wrong with me? <laughs> well, I mean, it's, yes, it's Midas, and he will finish, like, w when he manages to finish it, like, the X, and get the gem, like... Benscore is getting okay. chased down here, actually. Uh, yeah. Look at this. There's an entanglement. Fissure was off the mark, oh. but it doesn't matter, because they're already there. Spirit Bear is gonna get so there too. Deep, <laughs> Yeah, but Sexy oh. Bamboo, he walks in, but he just gets slowed and he just kindly returns the Spirit Bear back to Krilly. Oh no, Sneeko goes in, there's gonna be the Echo Slam. That's not a lot, they're actually gonna kill him off straight away. There's gonna be a very good Requiem there, doing a lot of damage. All is that right now. Sneeko's trying to fight up here. Waka's gonna kill off free that eat. They're gonna go after Sneeko right now. The Spirit Bear is still Echo bringing him down. Die. It should be able to die to his Radiance Burn. Dominating streak there. Waka, he's still on the back lines. He's gonna look for Krilly. There's the first hit of the... Me of the Desolated, but he just doesn't get get back his spare bear and reach Salomain. B for three trade. And Waga is still there looking. He's on sexy. the hunt. Yeah. There's no and there you go, Waga goes in. Look at this communication. Pretty is just up. killed. And they can't get Waga on the way back. They're TPing out. Do they have Tulsa? Do they have anything? No, they don't. He's gonna get out here right now. So that was a team fight going the way of Force Yao, yeah, I would say. Well, it was pretty even, but since they got the Scylla at the end, so yeah, really, yeah, yeah. I think it would favor them. It is. The Echo was on point, but it just didn't catch enough people. Like, if there was another sick Echo, they would have won the one fight. Yeah, it only the BKBs connected were already to, popped. to the Night Stalker and Gyro BKB like half a second before, I think. Yeah. Uh, yeah, with no BKB there, that would have been good. Yep. <laughs> There's no yep. way you get a BKB. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, SF also has a 10 second BKB now. Oh so yeah, that next team scary. fight. It's gonna be scary for sale. They can still blow him up though with uh, all the minus, damage, uh, minus armor that they have. Oh, I think Varga also picked up his BKB. And he should be picking it up fairly soon. Yeah, he, he got it, he got it. it. Okay. It's 10 seconds. Uh, this next I, fight. Ten second BKB on TA. Like he will kill some people with it, and there is nothing you can do about it. You can only pray for an entangle, basically. Yeah. If, but then you have to focus the spare bear on him. But don't you really want to use the spare bear to you know zone out fence core as well as you? Yeah, exactly. That, that's what you want to use him for. You don't want to. If that to fight up versus Waga because Waga can also They're turn around rush. on the beer and Ro kill the beer. Holy shit, Roger. He's dead. Uh, he's dead. Five seconds. Gone. 
The mine is armor. Yeah. Imagine if that's good. Oh, he actually has the medallion. That's why. I was only like, does he have the medallion? Okay. Yeah, he yeah, does. The, the minor arm, minus armor like is minus just real. Or, my, my, uh, yeah, it should be like minus 17, something like that. But a nice through. smoke here. Yeah, they're gonna catch them onto the back. They're gonna see you first right now. Oh, he's gonna nice. use darkness. There's gonna go Ares in. He's gonna get Suniko. This is gonna cost us his Aegis straight away. There's gonna be gonna be the BKB from Waga. The e oh, he's still stuck in this Fiend script, but they don't kill him down while he is in it. He's gonna load up the Requiem. It, doing a lot of debuff damage there. Suniko is gonna go after Ares right there in the back. Reloaded. No, he's not gonna get out. He's gonna get yeah. killed by Waga. Waga is going after the beer right now. Oh no, on the back line, Sneeko, he goes in again, he finds E-Skill. The bear is doing an entanglement on Sneeko though, but are they able to get E-Skill? Yeah, they are, there's gonna be less hit there. Triple kill going the way of Vaga, and they're gonna go after the bear right now. Melt Strike doing a lot of damage, pretty much bursts him down to over half of HP. Really, he's trying to fight this one up here, but he's gonna take a spill. Or No, look at this, <laughs> that was funny, but it nice didn't work. Nice try to dodge. Yeah. Nice morph, but yeah. It wow. uh, cost them another half a uh, second. But that was an Aegis for literally an entire team, I suppose. Yeah. That was a trade for Force And uh, they can actually just push onto the high ground right now because they don't have the ultimate. Yeah, they don't get a try though, but they could. They, they're low and they decide to, to make it a safe play. Just go back, uh, pick up the DD at the top and then just go for the top tower. Yeah. Like they're waiting for the Aghanims as well on Yule. He almost has it. Let's see the MKB, I believe, for Sneeko is pretty close, about 2k off that. Fanscore just got his uh, BKB completed as well. Yes. Waga has another about 5k gold. Somebody yeah, so casual 5k gold. Sneeko kills off a casual EO. <laughs> yeah. Actually, yeah, good job. And he doesn't really have any damage items at all. Oh, he, d he doesn't need them. It's, oh. it's a wisp. He got two armor. Like. He doesn't I'm care about the wisp. Yeah. This is just such an utility. I, I really wonder if we're gonna see it. Uh, oh no, he just goes in E-Skill. He doesn't care. <laughs> he just walks away casually. Yeah, but look at the top tower, it's so low. But Smack got Sneeko, oh, he, if he gets another entanglement on him, he actually might he's just die here. Like... Oh, he's able to walk out because of the slow that wow. Kodak fights. But that was really close there. Nice One more entanglement stuff. and it would have been wrong. Bad score, yeah, they're just gonna leave him yeah, behind here right he now. Yeah, he sacrificed his own life to save his course. Yeah, that's good play by him. Yeah, good call there. Space created for his team, and <laughs> good job, fan score. Like what else? Yeah, you can't really let Suniko die there. That would have no. just been terrible. Like they they traded literally a bane for. Well, EO and some damage from the tower. Yeah, but oh, well, some I'm damage, the tower. the tower is nearly dead. Yeah, I wasn't completely like, sure how much it was, so... 200 <laughs> HP left, like, if they manage to go top again, it's, they could potentially get wrecked. Yeah, if they just, actually, if they just go top, they have, like, maybe even one of the lanes pushed in with creeps. They can just send Waga there, get off a quick hit on the tower, maybe two hits, and it's already done. Yep. And we have a, a, a Yules now on the Tiny. Well, I, I've never seen a utility Tiny like that, to be honest. Yeah. Uh, I was expecting maybe like auras to come out, but this is like full on mobility and utility. Like. Yeah, actually, I think that's a good thing you point out. Oh, oh no, you they go on Yol, yeah. But you know, sexy oh. is there. He's ready with the four step. <laughs> no, the oh, four step was this time. Now Yol is a little bit stuck. Is he gonna? He can actually block our toss yeah. out. Oh my god! But the toss is there. <laughs> nice play. Yeah, he, he recovers that one. That was maybe a little bit too. Yeah, too excited on the yeah. uh, four stuff play there. <laughs> so uh, what what you just pointed out with the auras, yeah. I think it's a big mistake that they didn't pick up a Vladimir's yet on like the side of four CL just to um, counter the presence of the Dark Lord from SF. Yeah, and it will also just help out GTN. Oh no, oh, send no, back on sexy Bamboo. He's gonna use himself now. He has a toss. But Dagger, so oh. toss is gonna be used. He's gonna get hit. Bear Bear is following yes, him, he needs a little bit more damage and bottled up, this, but no, no, it doesn't matter. They're gonna try to get the bear maybe here in the return, but the whole team is actually to back them up. They need to walk away, Fanscore might be left behind again. Yeah, here you go, he's gonna get glimpsed bad, but he BKBs up to actually save his life. One for nil. LD take this. And eat it. But still they just kill like the... The tiny, sexy bamboo who has a Yules in four stuff and then blink. 
Like, utility tiny is yes. better. I really like it. I'm actually really, really impressed. Also, the use gives him like this needed move, even more movement speed, which is just so great. So he can't get guided around too much. And with the use, he can even you know use up somebody else and get close. There's a smoke coming, but yeah. they're prepared. Like 100%. Look at look at their positioning. Yeah, they're, they're, they're all back base. here at the tier three. They know. Yeah. And what now? They're they're walking here. I just want to point out that Vaga has completed his assault curious okay, on the so TA. Like now in the Oh my god. That's crazy. It, it, seriously, if they just get the Vladimir's now, this the uh, auras are real on their team. Let me do some quick counting. That's uh, 7, 8, that's 15, that's minus 20 armor from TA if she melt strikes. That's pretty good. Sick. Like, there's no hero on their team. Like, how was much was it? 20? 20. 20. Oh, 20 is exactly. Okay, I thought... Okay, well, actually, there's one armor left on Shadow Fiend. Yep. <laughs> no, that's... Well, nothing. Actually, and there to go in. There's gonna be the yeah. nightmare. Well, that's actually keeping E skill there, but that's fine for now. It's been one way wait with the, uh, for the BKB there with Shadow Fiend, and he's just getting blown up. As well as Frisco in the back as well. The... Who kills him, actually? Jaro killed him up, yeah. And the bear is gonna get nightmares. And they take it off and they're gonna kill him up there. It's gonna be the hit. There's gonna be the use. The utility is shown and he's just gonna get slapped down here by Sex Bamboo and the Tiny. Wow. SF just died so quickly. Yeah. He had BKB on, but he just died to right clicks. Yeah, the Shadow Fiend ultimate just keeping him in place is too strong for this. And then I also got an MKB coming for Shiniko. But man, just imagine if Vaga also starts to get hitting crits. If, if he if he gets it, oh, oh Steph Snow, he's gonna use his ghost scepter, but it <laughs> did so much right, damage right. still. Now they have the spear bear in front. Why it doesn't it? really do a lot there. Actually, yeah, oh they're gonna go after uh, Tiny here on the backlight for sexy, but he's fighting up there. He's gonna die, but not without almost taking away Aries Loco. Also bought back, he, but he has no travel stone. Hmm. Not enough money, but he's pretty fast. He's able to catch up there fairly soon, and they're That's just gonna continue this high ground push. Like, you can't just buy back now for nothing. They have, they have no echo though. He used it in their base, so... Yeah, they don't have any... They don't have a static storm either, because, you know, he's dead. He's dead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually a big part of the team fight, so essentially they just have to run in. But yeah. Now they need to defend their top tower. It's like one hit away from pretty much anybody of their team. But sexy they, would, they, they would just take the Rex. Like, no echo available. Yeah, so Nico is just gonna pop his BKB and start running into the base, sorting them all out. And he's taking a lot of damage though, it's yeah, he's already over, no. but there is Sexy, he comes in, big avalanche toss, and there's already the first death as well. The Sneaker actually dies, actually two support so far for Sneaker, Yul also dies. Isco is doing a lot of back, damage, though. but Waga, he is still alive, he's fighting up versus the beer buyback. Coming out from Frigolet, he's gonna get Waga tossed back here, they're gonna try and get out of here, force step using Sexy. There's gonna be the blink as well, oh no, the Fissure keeping no, Sexy from in place. Huge, yeah, but he's low HP. Oh. He has Dagger to try to get out. No, live. Blink. Yes, he's able to get out. Oh. Force yell a bit over eager. Yeah, they, this was a, this fight was won by LD pretty convincingly, but they did lose their uh, their uh, <coughs> tower together with about 1000 HP on their race yeah. tracks. Yeah, and uh, some buyback. Yeah, but it's just whisk. EO and. It was actually. Uh, it's just EO though. Oh, EO, yeah. So. Yeah. But this, yeah, if they got sexy bamboo on the way back there, they would have been just so great. <laughs> There's an AC on Scylla now. Yes. Like the bear has. Oh, the bear has AC. Oh, okay. And uh, if wondering. Vaga attacks him with Mad Strike and Bane puts a medallion on him, he still has minus armor. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> well. Yeah, and even then, he will just. If he just gets hit by Vaga by all this stuff, his physical resistance will be down, down to about 20, 17% anyway. Yeah, something like that. Well, he does get the Mecha Aura, so then he will be 25. Back up. 25. <laughs> So it's it's something, but still, yeah, it, the bear is not no mesh right now for uh, for Forcio. They need more items from Kili. Kili is actually fairly for. Oh, well, he gets fourteen hundred, but it's just Waga is so high up right there now, as well as Nico. He's also just on the top here. 
Like he, has, he has another 2.5k gold. We should point out that Vaga is 13, 1 and 10 at the moment. Like, Jesus. insane TA player. Oh, but man. we got a smoke here. They want to fight about Roche. Yeah, Roche is respawning soon. Okay, playing forward from Vaga. They're gonna go in here. Suniko pops his BKB. Bad score as well. They're gonna keep on the spare bear. They're just gonna focus him down. That's gonna be the first casualty of all after, of course, Steph's out because he also dies. Isco winds up Requiem. It does apply the debuff to everybody, making forcing them to go a little bit more back. Sexy Bamboo is about half HP, but Spirit Bar is really summoned, and they're just gonna try and kill him up again. Sexy Bamboo puts E skill forwards. Vaga is trying to fight up here. Echo Slam use bring his leak up pretty low, but Vaga already activates his BKB, nice so he's able stuff. to fight. Yo, he's gonna take a spill here. He's still alive, actually. There's actually missions coming out there for Iskill and Krilly. He's trying to kill him up, but he's just gonna die here instead. The morphing is not gonna work. Ares, however, is able to pick him up. Yo is dead right now, but he's gonna pay with his life for this. Oh no! Pretty good timed go set to here, but the yeah, toss. But it will still die. Yeah. yeah, this is four down. And now Iskill. Mule's used, and he's gonna get a lot of damage. Look at this. Minus 12 armor right now. Oh no. The armor left on him. Minus. Minus 26. Is, oh, shit, shit is actually that. I missed yeah, my dead one. Steph still taking a lot of damage from the creep here. He can actually fight this versus Waga. Do they have four Steph for him? Waga no, dead. Waga is dead. 817 gold towards Steph Cell. However, at the same time, they Sexy Bamboo to took out right, top. Yeah, he, he Sexy got the. Uh, oh, he just goes in. Casual stun into Steph and he just kills him off. Nice. So, I believe he actually uses buyback for that fighter, didn't he? Pretty sure. No, he says buyback. Uh, like, shake a ball back. Yeah, I saw Steph maybe might have done it as well, but yeah. Dead. Oh my god, that's just crazy. Oof. We see how long they can, can hold on to this. Yeah, they're, they're down three racks. They just have melee on top, they have a tier 3 on bottom. Yeah. About 70, uh, 60% HP and 25k gold behind. Yeah, the uh, rush is up. So once I get, actually get rush on the side of 4 I think it's a pretty much game over. Like they need to get one of those sick. And there's like slams. only one play that's left for LD get rush. If yeah. they can't secure that rush. But just look at this tiny he bought up a <laughs> shadow blade. He's just scouting him out. He knows they're walking in there right now. But I will try to contest this. There's gonna be the solo quest on Gyro. I know this AF, of course, also the thing here down. And Steph, so he's trying to fight him there in the back line. Yo kills him up with the forward there. Pretty good uh, fissure here, keeping out fence score, but Sneeko, he's fighting up for man fighting this, doing a lot of damage. Good, he's actually also down to half HP. The same goes for E skill. Rekir wound up. Deep, applying the debuff. Fence score is here. Fin script on E skill, but they're not able to kill him nice. because of the big. Echo Slam and Fisher there. Waga is now trying to fight up there. Fenskor is still there alone, but Waga needs to run away because they're already down. Vibex is used by Tiny or? No. no it was not. just another. Oh yeah, he was just fighting on the back and he ran away. Now it's gonna be the toss up, but they're still not able to kill off anybody right now. And now Waga, he's trying to fight this Waga one. Waga is dying. But, uh, this, he's gonna die there. He's dead. He's dead and now Sexy Bamboo. He's alone. He's gonna get the toss up. He has these kills of Tiny. He still has the, uh, <coughs> the Shadow Blade. So he can run out, but did they look pick at this. Up the gem? I they don't have know. The gem? Yeah, they have the gem and shaker. Oh yeah, they have the gem. Oh. Yeah, but he, he can't get a uh, vision of him anymore because he's so fast with shield later. But did, like shaker just decided this again. Yeah. It's like a free to form an echo again into fissure. Like, wow. This this shaker is just I, fucking crazy at the moment. Yeah, but the, I mean they secured the roche now and. The cheese. Nearly team wiped them and the cheese, of course, but they lost top Rex for it and a lot of HP on their. Yeah, but this is the play they need to make. Like, this will yeah, give them a little bit. Yeah. Like, if they don't do that, they will lose the Aegis and give the uh, give free Roshan pretty much to them. So you have to take these losses. That's the difference between like losing now or, yeah, you know, still having a chance. Because if they can get one of, one more of these fights, get buyback out, then with another fight, then they actually can Aye. win this. But yeah, I want to say that they may, might need an agony on the disruptor. That would be so big, but he's not close. Mm, sadly not. He's kill. He got his bed of uh, butterfly. What am I talking? 
Hold up. There's all the MKB on gyro and... I think it was can. a mistake, like, the, the MKB on gyro is up for a while, I think. Yeah. Uh, okay. He still bought, like, a butterfly into it. Yeah. And even the Waga, he, Waga got upgraded DOTs. Yeah. And I assume he's gonna be building towards an MKB now. Like, there's no reason to not build towards that. Because what else is he gonna pick up? Like, Chrisic is, is good, but I think if you get MKB, you can just blow up each skill and that's... Yep. It's worth so much more. Ah, well... Uh, if you get crit on TA, I mean... It's still yeah, that amazing. That's just. Yeah, but you, can, you can already kill all of them. Like, the only problem might be, like, the butterfly, like, the evasion. You know what? The best pickoff would be if you use a blade from Varga. What would be the best? If you use a blade. Like. I mean, you can't just defuse all the ghost scepters and we'll insta give every support in the game. Yeah, but do you really want to do that? Uh, I think it's worth it. Maybe later. Wait. On. But they have a lot of extra damage. And now look at this, they're just going for the Rex here. They're gonna get middle Rex. At least Rex is still yeah. He's already taken down this tower, off HP. And there's gonna be the relocate in. And Waga just walks back. And they're gonna get something on the back. Yeah, there's gonna be uh, the death of the... Uh... Well, this is gonna start killing people. What the hell am I saying? Really, he's gonna be found out. Kinetic field as well. There's gonna be a big echo for Hero. Oh no. They're gonna get Suniko as well. Three deaths. This is what? What? They was what? They just turned that. They, they relocated into the base and got back and uh, killed everyone. Like what? what now TA, TA has to try and end it. He has to base race this like ASAP. He gets a best tier four here right now. They have pretty back here. He tries to will try to defend. And no, what the fuck? What? No. <laughs> no. 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 Like again. Oh my god. Yeah, uh, this is. Either yeah. Bamboo is getting another DDoS on his face, or this is just a bad. Uh, really th th this, this game just got completely crazy in less than like three minutes. Yeah, just everything just completely turned around. Like, Even they're still really far ahead. Like 10k XP, 15k uh, network, but still, like, they've been completely pushed back into their base. Let me, let me, let me take a look at the buyback status. They have buyback on Gyro, they have buyback yeah. on Bane, and they have no buyback on Night Stalker. Yeah, well. but they still have, let's see, Sexy Bamboo has one as well as... Uh, yeah. Okay, we are gonna go back in there again. Waga, he's trying to go for the throne here, but he has to blink out because Krilly is back. And now what they're gonna do here on middle East Coast, he's just gonna TP back. Yes, they are. They will try to defend this. They're going for Waga. He can't TP. Waga is dying there. Oh, TP, TP, okay. So yeah, there's gonna be the blink out reflection helping him out. He goes in fist, but and the chief of Sneeko. What? Okay. Games of pauses again, guys. Well, yeah. But do you think they're gonna get Wagga here? Went in fist, but he went straight up out of it no, again. No he has way. No they're, they're already turning. They don't know if he like. When in with there or where he blinked, I think they didn't saw it. Let's uh. see. Rico lead. He will be spotted up a sexy bamboo on the way back, so he might just get blown up. Uh. He actually purchased a mecha. Uh, he purchased a mecha. Well, I should have been the soul days, by the way. No, 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 no. Uh, he traded the it, it mech to Wisp. Oh, yeah. I thought he might have bothered himself. I think he needs the slot for something else. He has like 5k gold. Yeah, well, it, it's fine. But yeah, that doesn't work on him. So... <laughs> that was uh, what I was looking at. I don't know what's happening. Like... T t wow. <laughs> like... Uh, You're my analytical person, man. <laughs> yeah, like... It, I mean, just resume the last <laughs> minutes. Like, we had a completely crazy Roche fight. That should have gone in the favor of Force Yale, but because some super incredible echo just turned the fight cl completely, they got an Aegis and a Cheese, and like then it just went straight into middle while Vaga tried to split push, and he didn't got the Rex though, but he got the tier four, and exposed the throne, but they still lost the Rex in middle and they got three people killed by it, like.
Vitamin D? Yes. Where? Oh. Oh. But it seems we have another DDoS. Please let them just making. Please let them just making a really terrible joke. Did, did he just say the D word? Oh my god. <laughs> like, that's like the worst worth in Dota 2. He's in competitive Dota. DDoS. You thought there are bad words out there in this world, but DDoS. DDoS stops them. Yeah. Oh no no no! Why the hell? What do the the people have against a tournament? These DDoSs are just crazy. That said, they do happen a lot to other tournaments. Oh, it happens to a lot of people. Yeah. Not only in Dota, it happens everywhere. Game not found. Okay. It's it's <laughs> about error four zero four on the internet. It means page not found. Uh. Oh my. I ordered pizza like one hour ago. Has it arrived? Yes, and it's getting cold, you know. Uh. <laughs> what to do? Enjoy the okay. good life. Did they just write, let's low? No, no fucking way. But since everyone is flaming on the Twitch chat uh, about the HD we're using, uh, Maybe, like, a good idea were, was, like, just make a new one and send it to us. If you have some crazy ideas, just send it. Hmm. Maybe we can use it. Okay, he's back. Oh my god. I think we'll... Oh, that's amazing. Really, this is... Okay, here we go. Three, two, one, go. And we're back in. Sexy Babu, he's gonna spot out through Lotte and no. Oh. What? Oh, the tether! Awesome there, but there is still what? Blink. Go, Scepter! Oh. Too late. Oh, he doesn't have it. Huh. No, he has not. I thought he was one of the droppers. Eris Loco, of course, together with. Uh, yeah. Let's do it. Yeah, with Seth. Wisp is too poor. <laughs> Even give give with scepter. some love, man. Yeah. I mean, he has 2k gold. Well, he had that actually 2500. But they just lost 500. But yeah. he, he needs to buy. I don't know. Yeah, they also need to buy back on any hero they can have. Like, that can be just the difference between losing and not. And there you go, they find Krilly. There's gonna be the Avalanche stores. Melt Strike has been used. They're gonna run in here with this kill. Okay. Are they going to that? Yeah, they're, they're just chasing down here on the top lane really fast. Wagga. Yeah. But yeah, they have the blinks here, so they have the advantage. Does e skill have the blink? No, he doesn't, so. And really push it. No blink, no yules. It's... Tiny is going back in, though. We'll yeah, this Tiny is just manning up. He, he sees all of them. He, he could can... have gotten a. Is he going in? Yeah, now just a casual weapon search for now. And oh no, this is just really a zoning he was kinetic field. Yeah, Frigolite, he comes in, he is tethering to Frigolite, he might just take him back that's here. A, that or no, cool. yeah, they just have to leave Disruptor back, he sends back Waga. Taxi when we start in the air, yeah, Seth will die, but that's to be expected and... I think they would just go for Tron now. They yeah, like... Yeah, they shoot. No glue. Oh, they have a glue. Oh, ho, ho, no! Oh, Ares, he's found out. Many of the match of LD is being found out, if they can kill him off here, this might just be GG. I don't... It does he have buyback? He has a blink. He blinks yeah. out. And yeah, there's no buyback. If he dies here, this is gonna be really big. Echo Slam is not gonna kill off anybody here. <laughs> he's yuling himself up. Oh, he's gonna use up. I don't even know anymore. And they're gonna go after the bear as well. He's kill. He's gonna get off. Uh, well, raise it. That's about it. 
And there's gonna be the dead bear as well. Sexy bamboo. He's just manning up. Throws back E skill. Requiem or so is not can, gonna be used here because he dies straight up. He bite backs, yeah, but this is gonna be the tower. They're gonna go after uh, some megas first here. They have the bear running around all the time. Doing some considerable amount of damage. That may use six people. He goes after Frigo Lead again on the back line. Well, they're also going after the bear. He's going to get a pretty good Requiem, doing a lot of damage. Well, damage, mostly uh, the debuff again. So good in the late game. Waga, he's going to get killed here by the bear. Whoa. Of Frilly. And this is another turn around. Wisp just uh, killed Tiny on the top. That's a complete team wipe. Well, I didn't see the kill there, but. Whoa. And now the, the, uh, the and, IO is money. <laughs> I mean, their Rex are still alive, though. I and mean, the drone, too. Yeah, like, they, they just need to go and push right now. Because that was too late for the team fight guy. Right? They do have a lot of buybacks, so they have like four of the five heroes of buyback. So I don't think they're gonna get their they're bases be first. Though, but like, oh no, Sneeko. They forced the glyph for an SF buyback. I, I literally did, they forced the glyph, so yeah. pretty good. Yeah, there is at the moment, there is no uh, thing going on right now. There goes the one. <laughs> uh, yeah, guys, I'm just showing really quick into the uh, into the Dota 2 uh, menu. We the Vega versus... Uh, Vega, I mean... What's wrong with my SFC now? versus... Yeah, SFC versus... BR. <laughs> BR is still playing. About 33 minutes in. Wait, that's actually it. So yeah, we have that going on as well. So we'll, we'll later on see who's going to be winning. But 47 viewers are watching it. So you want to watch that match? The only real thing I can say is like buy the ticket. Uh, after this match, if this one ends before that one, I will go straight into there, start casting from whatever point they are at. Until that point, I really can't do anything. And did they say anything in the chat? Okay. Not really? Please just let it be the routers. Oh my god. It's another crazy team fight going the way of uh yeah, LD. LD, uh, and there yeah, XP should be about even right now. Especially since they're all starting to max up towards level twenty five. Tomorrow right. Gold make a plunge to about fifteen K a little bit more. Yes. They just can't end it. No. Just every time they try to. What kind of pizza did you order, by the way? Uh, like ham, onion. Was pepperoni? Nah, not Don't today, know. man. Usually I do that, but like you need to change things sometimes, you know. Yep. Nice. But that's all? Yeah. I'm really hungry as well actually. <laughs> yeah. I bought like a like a salad. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I don't yeah, I don't have time to like I thought I don't have time, you know, to put in the oven like in between the breaks, so I just put like a like a This uh, is a salad. why you order pizza man. You just yeah, order it. I, I live on the seventh floor. If I have to leave in a mesh to go down to get it, I will have to stream like run following a <laughs> random hero. Oh, so, so now I can reconnect, by the way. Holy okay, that's shit. great. Oh, I man. think we have some Dota soon. Yeah, we should have another Dota. Go on, shut up. One of my uh, Dota, my community members is talking in the chat. I just spotted it out. <laughs> be, sh be quiet. <laughs> Oh. Hmm. Oh, guys, is Nico ready? It's impossible to get. Ah, oh, fuck! Bamboo drop. What? 
We should have maybe found a sta stand in for. <sighs> What's happening? Like, how can this happen on an entire evening, to be honest? I'm not quite sure. I'm gonna copy paste you some something. Check like can read it after. Okay. So um Max two lows per game and it seems Yeah that we will we'll put this in. We just have to start now, they're overpassed them. Yeah, we should. I need to really fast look at this. <laughs> of course they have all right to do. Oh. Because they got this against him, and we I didn't know about how to load him. Real casters look at you, that's fun. Yeah, real casters don't look at the chat. Lol. Yeah, you I saw mean. this one, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, for everyone that is interested in learning what happens when you get DDoS, just follow the chat, like Vanscore is explaining DDoS. Yeah, fan score is really good in explaining this one. Yeah. Poor sales becoming professionals in getting tea dust. Not that it's good. Well. I would say, yeah, about two minutes and we should be able Why why would they even load? I need to create rules regarding loading, but I, I don't know enough about loading games myself, so Yeah. I still want to see this game. Right. I'm looking it up right now. If somebody knows it in the chat, please tell me. I'm trying to unpause, but it doesn't work.
well, um, like, maybe I can. Let that go. So, let's go. And by the way, saves are every 30 seconds. Okay, saves are every 30 seconds. So, um. We'll keep that in mind. I will make a load. I will write a about But uh, what, about I, I don't understand what's the point in loading. Like, he's in game. Like, there's. Why would you load? It doesn't make sense. I can. He can just reconnect. Why the hell is my key not working for bossing? Mine works. Holy works. shit. Okay, the game doesn't. Yeah, so we'll. Back into the game, finally. Just waited 10 minutes. There's a crit flying out on the courier. Redstack has arrived for, uh, for Shadow Fiend, so. Uh, you're talking towards nukes, yeah. We're gonna change the rules for tomorrow because this loads. We will write something about inner rules. Yeah, we. I didn't know about the possibilities of this. I saw it used once before in Dream League, and I didn't personally look into it, so that's why. Honestly, I'm. Yeah. But it doesn't matter now. Like no. we just get it fixed. And yeah. One or the I, other way. Yeah, I'm just. I did this essentially because LD was put in the same situation, and they uh, continued with four versus five. So I think it's unfair for them to not uh, give them the same situation. But let's see how this turns out. Like they're in front of their base. Hit. Taxi Babu, his hero will be soon back soon, so we'll see how that's gonna be work out, working out as well. They're just gonna go in for the Rex here. They're gonna try and end this game, and yeah, they do have a lot of buybacks, so they are essentially fighting uh, well, 8 versus 5. 8 versus so. 5, something like that, yeah. So there is more than. They have enough chance to actually win this one. There's a lo big network from Baga. He's really strong. He also got his crit right now, plus 4k gold. If you're just gonna go for the bot tower, we'll be able to make the stand here right now on the side of 4CL. Uh, and fan score, he is, gets E skill. There's oh, nice a big relocate okay now, though. Saving him, so Nico is trying to fight up here. He's actually using his satanic right now, so he's healed up pretty well. There's gonna be the Wrecking World Souls. Debuff applied. A lot of minus uh, damage coming out there. Waga, he is now trying to man fight, but he's not gonna make this. He has to buy back instantly. Fan scores run, run away. Yo is running around and he's gonna take a spill as well. Waga, he's now alone. They don't have Yo on the buyback, so they'll t yeah, they will need to do something right now. They got two sets of racks. They can't get the third one because they're still tier two on top. Gonna go in on the back. Oh no, Air's Loco, he's being put up into the air. He comes down, Suniko tries to man fight him. Uh, Fisher keeps out Fanscore right now. Waga, he's getting focused. They're hitting on him with three heroes. Well, three heroes. Dead Together Waga with a spare bear, of course. Oh, Fanscore is dead. dead. This is GG. What? LD won this 50 minute game. Oh my god. Like, this is not something we can do anything about, like... Well... I want to thank both of the teams for at least playing through and... 
not flaming anybody and just saying GG to each other. And still an amazing left. game though. Yeah. It was a really great game, a lot of back forwards. I'm gonna look if PR and SFC is still playing right now and we're just gonna go, I'm gonna go into the game. You have the ticket as well. If you can, oh no, only thing that's still going on is the Figa versus Orcl game. What? I don't even know. Okay. What's happening? Yeah. Okay, well, we're gonna go into the break right now because there's no more matches. I'll look up the, the game. There. We'll see how it goes. Grab my pizza. 